Hey everybody, Sabs Designs here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to um make uh take your face or somebody else's face and put it onto um uh somebody else's uh body like this picture right here. Um as you can see here I took um Megan Fox's face and I put it onto uh some M A M L G player uh, gamers um, body so um this is what the MLG guy looks like before Kim's face is on him and then with her on um, there's just a bit of a mess ups around here but um, you guys kinda get the point about what I'm trying to do here so I have those same two images here um, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're going to take the Kim photo layer and uh, we're gonna change the opacity down to 50 just so then you can kinda see through and line up the facial features with each uh, photo for each photo um, so that's kind of how it's gonna have to look there okay so now what we're gonna do <coughs> is uh, we're gonna click on our bottom layer here and we're gonna go to create a new adjustment layer and we're going to uh, create a levels in between them so I'm just going to close this part right here that opened up. Um, there we go. So now on this level, a levels layer, that's how we're going to create. Um, getting rid of the rest of the picture except for her face and just trying to shape it to his face. Um, so her face is a bit different than his, um, but it's pretty good anyways. So to get started, let's... Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Click on this Kim layer, and we're gonna press Control G, which uh, makes it this um, layer Kim's face layer group with previous. Um, so then we'll be able to uh, edit everything. Um, so then we're gonna lock this layer here, just just for now. Uh, you don't actually have to lock it. Um, I just preferably lock it, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to change the opacity. Actually, no, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And then I'm going to go to my levels layer. Make sure I click on the layer mask thumbnail. Going to make sure I'm on black and I'm going to grab my uh, brush here. I'm going to bump up the size just a little bit just to get rid of the edges a bit faster. And then just start moving around here. And remember, you don't want to be using your eraser tool because it's not the proper way to. So just uh, keep on erasing here. Um, you can kind of just kind of maybe make a rough outline around the head. Okay, I'll get rid of all this here. Maybe I'm just going to bump up the size of my brush a bit. So, uh, basically, this is just so then you guys know how to use different things like this. Um, you can basically do it with anybody's face. Um, just try and keep their skin colors a close to the same, because you see there. I'm actually going to zoom in here for this, um, just so I can uh, get a better face alignment. So, I'm just going to create my brush a bit smaller, just so then I can uh, try and keep it as close to the edge of his face as possible. So, it looks good. So as you can see here, I kind of messed up there, so I'm just going to uh, go back a bit to the point where I can get rid of all this. Just try and get the main majority of it gone. Um, if you notice any of it still there be afterwards, you can always touch it up. But, um, you know, don't want to take too long doing this for you guys, because you guys are going to get bored. Um... So, I'm just going to keep on uh, going around here, trying to keep it looking good here, um, trying to keep as much as his skin from showing, because uh, that way I don't have to go into too much touch-ups, um, although I will show you how to touch up if you do need to. Okay, so that part I messed up right there. So 
So I'm just going to press Control zero. And I'm going to go back on this layer and make it 100%. Okay. So as we can see here, there's just a couple spots we need to touch up still. Um, to do so, I'm just going to kind of get rid of these spots here. Um, I'm going to change, I'm going to hit D so then this changes to my defaults. Um, actually, whoops. I'm going to make sure I'm still on this layer high. I didn't do that by an accident. It's very important. I'm going to change to my white, which will just pit it back. Like, as you can see, I erased there. If I bring that back, it starts bringing the picture back. So I'm just going to kind of go along the edges here, trying to get back some of her chin. Um, actually, no. It's I'm going to have to use some color touch-ups. So to do the color touch-ups, um, actually, even... Just to touch up this a bit here. Try and get rid of some of the black there. Same as on along this edge here. Um, okay. So to touch up the cut, like, see the color difference here and down here? To touch that up, you're going to right click on your brush and you're going to go color replacement tool. You're going to make sure you're on the Kim layer and you're going to hold Alt to select the color. And then just try and color that in there. Um, it actually be a bit better to make sure that you have uh, this layer. Oops, make sure it's white. Um, just so you can kind of see what's going on here and see that's kind of looking a really, really messed up. So um, I'm just going to go in. Uh, it's quite hard to actually get the colors to be exact. Um, just due to the fact that uh, it's okay, that's not really working at all. But um, whoops! Oh, that looks really bad. It's not looking good at all there. But um, let's see what I did here. back over here and just add this back um see it's not quite turning out there but um you get the point um i'm gonna try and touch it up down here a bit but uh it might not work um it's really hard to do get it exactly like actually that's probably a perfect color for up here maybe no it's not actually that's really bad it's looking really bad right now um i'm having some troubles working it out See, it looks nothing like her. But, um, you guys kind of get the point here. Um, you really just want to try and get those edges really nice and smooth. Um, try and make it look like literally it's it's the person's face. Um, as you can see, I did better on this one here. Um, actually, I think I know what I did here that I didn't do here. Um, I think I need to move her face over a bit. So I'm going to add my move tool. Move it over just a bit like that. Uh, maybe down a bit. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this down a bit. Okay. So that's going to be good there. Um, I'm going to go back to here, change it back to my black. My brush tool. Okay, there, so it's kind of a bit better there. Um, it's looking a bit better now. Um, it's probably looking closer than what it was before. Yeah, it's looking closer now. Um, you can tell the difference is there, but um, that is how you 
uh, add your face to somebody else's face. Um, you can also take like uh, the bodies and just switch the bodies uh, if you want to leave the face. Um, it's really just up to you. Um, so yeah, that is how you pitch your face or somebody else's face on somebody else's body. You swap them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comment in the comment section down below. Um, if not, thanks for watching. Have a great day.